Hello everybody and welcome to part 2 of my video on Ethnicity's song Tell Me Your Wish Genie Being Plagiarized. This video is brought to you by FAF, Fans Against Anti-Fans. Okay, a few weeks ago I made a video on my opinion on their new song Genie Tell Me Your Wish being plagiarized by a Uzbekistanian singer by the name of Denaira. And the response was great. But yesterday I received a comment on the video that said, Well, Denaira's version came out first. You should stop being so biased. Well, I'm not being biased. It's just the facts. Let me show you the facts, or let me tell you the facts. Fact. SM bought the rights to the song from Universal Records. Fact. Universal Records sold the rights to the song to SM Entertainment before Denaira got it. Fact. And here's another fact for you. Fact. Denaira's company stole the song. That's why it came out months before Ethnicity's version was released. This still makes me angry that people think Ethnicity are plagiarizing Denaira when actually it's the other way around. If you look at the facts, the facts tell you the truth. Denaira copied off of FNSD when Universal Records exclusively sold them the rights to SM Entertainment. Neither SM Entertainment or Universal Records know who the hell Denaira is. Pardon my language, but I'm very angry. Nobody knows who the heck Denaira is. I don't even know who she is. All I did is watch the video and then I knew who she was. Before then, I did not know who she was at all. So for people to say I'm being biased. Okay, yes, I may be a little biased because it's ethnicity. But I, I was telling the truth. If you look at the facts, I'm not being so biased. Denaira stole the song from SM Entertainment, or not Denaira herself, but Denaira's management company stole the song. It was like back a few months ago when people were saying, Oh, Go Yuna stole the, the music to the Jackson 5 1 2 3. Yes, it sounded very similar, and I'll give it that, but in no way do I think Yuna or her management company meant for that song to sound that similar. And it's going back to this. Uh, Denaira sold this song and it's a, it's a blatant plagiarism. It's a blatant copyright of Ethnicity's song. It's a blatant copy. If you listen to Denaira's version, yeah, they both sound the same. I mean, the pause where Tiffany says, DJ, Turn it back on. It's there in Denaira's version too. Of course, Denaira doesn't say that, but I'm just getting really pissed off of people saying that I'm being biased when all I'm doing is giving people the actual facts. Fact, Denaira's management company stole the song after Universal Records had given the right exclusively to SM Entertainment and Lee Su Man, the greatest manager in SM Entertainment history. Actually, he's the owner of SM Entertainment and one of the best companies, I think, in Korea next to YG Entertainment, who does 21. But anyway, Universal Records sold the right exclusively to Mr. Lee Su Man and his company, and Denaira is saying, well, uh, her management company is saying, well, it's our song, Anthony is the one that did it. Yes, maybe Anthony S.D. did some things bad in the past, but people make mistakes, and I don't think SM Entertainment would lie about this. I mean, the facts clearly show I did a bunch of research. The facts clearly show SM bought the song, they own the rights to the song, so it's their song. So, 
I don't get why people are saying that I'm being biased. Yes, I'm a fan, and you may not be a fan, and that's perfectly okay, but I'm just giving the facts the way they are. I'm not lying about anything. And let me go over the facts one more time so those of you out there that are saying I'm lying and being biased can just shut up. So anyway, um, fact. SM Entertainment bought the rights from Universal Records. That is a fact. Fact. Universal Records sold the rights to SM Entertainment. Fact. Fact number three. Fact. Daenerys Management Company released the song before FNST. Okay. That is a fact. Fact. No one knows who Daenerys is. I don't know who Daenerys is, and I don't think anyone out there knows who Daenerys is, except the people in Uzbekistan or wherever that is. But, I mean, I'm just giving the facts the way they are. I mean, this is still pissing me off that people would say that FNSD is plagiarizing. I mean, Sociified and I have worked together and done a lot of research, and I need to thank Sociified for their, um, for their research as well. That, uh, at first it looked like FNSD was plagiarizing this song, but then, come to find out, Daenerys was the one copying the song. So I'm just gonna say, for those of you out there who think that I'm not telling the truth, and think that I'm just being biased, you can act like that, but I'm just saying the facts are the facts, and the facts are it's FNSG's song, it's Lee Suman's company's song, they bought the rights to it, they rightfully is, uh, bought the rights from Universal Records, that's all I have to say. If any of you out there agree with me, please post a comment at the bottom of this video and I want to thank you for watching another video brought to you by FAF Fans Against Anti-Fans Goodbye everyone, thank you for watching